game when I was serving I felt pretty heavy to my right leg after that I couldn't really bend my knees and couldn't jump up uh, yeah I decided to stop welcome back to our channel where we delve into the intriguing stories of remarkable individuals from the world of tennis today we're going to unravel the enigma surrounding a tennis sensation someone who has captured the hearts of fans around the world with his remarkable skills and incredible journey it's the story of none other than Kei Nishikori the tennis prodigy who took the world by storm but whose success was limited due to injury issues. Let us explore what happened to Kei Nishikori, where we'll take you through the highs, the lows, and the incredible twists and turns that have defined his career. From a young Japanese tennis prodigy to becoming a global icon on the court, even with the injury issues, Kei Nishikori's story is both inspiring and full of surprises. So let's dive right in and find out what happened to Kei Nishikori. What a win for Nishikori! Born on December 29, 1989 in Japan, Kei Nishikori, whose full name is Nishikori Kei, picked up a tennis racket at the age of five, embarking on a journey that would ultimately captivate the world. Nishikori's early promise was evident when he secured victory at the All Japan Tennis Championships for Kids in 2001. His talent, combined with unwavering dedication, led him to graduate from Aomori Yamada High School, where his passion for tennis continued to blossom. In 2004, at just 14 years old, Nishikori made a life-changing decision. He left his homeland and moved to Bradenton, Florida to join the IMG Academy. This marked the beginning of an extraordinary chapter in his career, one that would see him evolve into a global tennis sensation. Along the way, he trained under the guidance of esteemed coaches including Brad Gilbert and, from December 2010 onwards, Dante Bottini. Notably, the former world number two Michael Chang joined his coaching team in January 2014, bringing a wealth of experience to Nishikori's corner. Nishikori's journey began with a promising junior career that set the stage for his future successes. At the age of 13 in April 2002, he played his first junior match at a grade one tournament in Japan, a pivotal moment that would shape his path. One of the early highlights of his junior career was claiming the title at the 2004 Riyadh 21 tournament in Rabat, Morocco. Nishikori's talents were on full display when he reached the quarterfinals of the Junior French Open in 2006. It was at this same tournament that he joined forces with Emiliano Massa to clinch the boys' doubles title, showcasing his versatility on the court. Nishikori's junior accomplishments were further highlighted when he won the 2007 Luxalon Cup held at the 2007 Sony Ericsson Open by defeating Michael McLoon. As a junior, he compiled an impressive 73-37 win-loss record in singles and 53-31 in doubles earning a combined ranking of number seven in the world in July 2006. These achievements were early indicators of the incredible talent and determination that would define his professional career. In March 2006, Kei Nishikori was granted a wildcard entry to the Kyoto Challenger Tournament in his native Japan. Although he didn't advance far, this marked the beginning of his professional journey. In May, he tasted success by winning the men's singles at an ITF Futures event in Mazatlan, Mexico. Nishikori continued to make strides in 2007. He reached the finals in two USTA Pro Circuit events, partnering with Donald Young to clinch the doubles title in Little Rock, Arkansas. He even had the privilege of serving as a hitting partner for none other than Roger Federer at Wimbledon. His ATP main draw debut in Los Angeles was a significant milestone, but it was his run at the Indianapolis Tennis Championships that truly announced his presence. He reached his first ATP quarterfinal, becoming the youngest player to do so at Indianapolis since Boris Becker in 1985. Nishikori also participated in ATP events in Los Angeles, Indianapolis, Washington, D.C., and Beijing, China. Each competition was a building block in his journey toward the top ranks of professional tennis. Kei Nishikori's determination bore fruit in 2008. He began the year with a breakthrough performance at the Delray Beach Tournament, defeating top-seeded James Blake to become the first Japanese man in nearly 16 years to win an ATP event. His journey in 2008 included appearances in the Beijing Olympics, Japan Open, Miami, Houston, and the prestigious Wimbledon Championships. Notably, at the 2008 US Open, Nishikori made history by becoming the first Japanese player to reach the round of 16 in 71 years. His victory against fourth-seeded David Ferrer was considered one of the tournament's major upsets. In 2009, Nishikori began the year with a disappointing start, losing in the first round of the Australian Open to Jurgen Melzer. 
However, he received significant recognition when he was named the 2008 ATP Newcomer of the Year. This made him the first Asian player to win the prestigious award, a testament to his outstanding potential. Nishikori was faced with adversity as he had to withdraw from the French Open, Wimbledon, and the US Open due to an injured right elbow, the beginning of an injury crisis which will put a limit on his talent. After recovering from his injury, Nishikori made his comeback. He began by participating in the Delray Beach Tournament and later achieved notable success in the Challenger Tour, winning events like like the Baton Rouge and Tallahassee tournaments. His triumphant return included winning the Sarasota Open in May. He also made his debut at the French Open, Wimbledon, and the US Open. These experiences, although challenging, were essential steps in his development as a professional player. Michael Chang became Nishikori's coach in 2014, a partnership that would prove to be instrumental in his career. The year began with Nishikori making it to the fourth round of the Australian Open. He defended his title at the US National Indoor Tennis Championships in Memphis, securing another career highlight. Nishikori then played at the Masters 1000 event in Miami, you know, the way I played today and uh, to win the title. Where he saved four match points before defeating David Ferrer and Roger Federer to advance to the semifinals. Unfortunately, a left groin injury forced him to give Novak Djokovic a walkover in the semifinals. A notable achievement came in May when Nishikori made history by reaching the final of the Madrid Open, his first Masters 1000 tournament final. Congratulations, you're in your first Masters 1000 final. Although he led by a break against Rafael Nadal, an unfortunate back injury led to his retirement. This result saw him achieve a career-high ranking of world number 9 in the ATP singles rankings. The crowning moment of 2014 was Nishikori's first Grand Slam final appearance at the US Open. He reached this milestone by defeating top-ranked players like Milos Raonic, Stan Wawrinka, and the world number 1 Novak Djokovic. Although he lost in the final to Marin Cilic, Nishikori's run saw his singles ranking improve to world number 8. He became the first Asian man ever to reach a Grand Slam tournament final, marking a historic moment for tennis in the region. Clock says if you can believe this. To wrap up the year, Nishikori claimed titles at the Malaysian Open and the Rakuten Japan Open, further solidifying his place in the tennis elite. He made his debut at the ATP World Tour Finals, ending the year at a career-high world number 5. To Tokyo title. These accomplishments in 2014 were evidence of Kei Nishikori's determination, passion, strength, mental strength, skill, and the support of his coach, Michael Chang. In 2015, Nishikori displayed his consistency on the tour by reaching the semifinals of the 2015 Brisbane International and the quarterfinals of the Australian Open. He defended his title at the Memphis Open, marking his third consecutive win at the event and his eighth career singles title. A significant milestone came at the 2015 Abierto Mexicano Telcel, where he reached the final, earning him enough ATP ranking points to achieve a new career-high world ranking of number four. Nishikori began his clay court season with success, winning the 2015 Barcelona Open Bank Sabadell. Nishikori! The 2015 champion and reaching the semifinals of the 2015 Mutua Madrid Open. His journey continued at the 2015 Italian Open, where he reached the quarterfinals before being defeated by world number one Novak Djokovic. At the French Open, he made history by becoming the first Japanese man to reach the quarterfinals in 82 years, but his run was halted by Joe Wilfried Tsonga in a five-set match. The grass season saw Nishikori reach the semifinals of the Halle Open before retiring due to injury. At Wimbledon, he was once again forced to retire, this time in the second round. Returning to the hardcourt season, Nishikori captured the 2015 City Open title, defeating John Eisner in the final. He also reached the semifinals of the 2015 Rogers Cup, securing significant victories on his path, including one against Rafael Nadal. Despite facing challenges such as injury-related retirements, he bent my knees and couldn't jump up, so... Uh... Uh, yeah, I decided to stop. Nishikori showed his resilience and top-level play throughout the year. He qualified for the ATP World Tour Finals for the second year in a row, highlighting his consistent performance on the tour. In the 2016 Summer Olympics, Nishikori clinched the bronze medal after defeating Rafael Nadal. This historic achievement made him the first Japanese man to win an Olympic tennis medal in nearly a century. 2016 also saw Nishikori qualify for the ATP World Tour Finals for the third consecutive year, where he delivered strong performances. However, 2017 took an unfortunate turn for Nishikori as he withdrew from the Cincinnati Masters due to a right wrist problem, and scans later revealed a tendon tear. 
Consequently, he announced that he would miss the remainder of the season. As a result of his prolonged absence, he fell to world number 22, marking his lowest ranking since January 2012 and the first time he was out of the top 20 since March 2014. In 2018, Kanishikori made a remarkable comeback after a five-month injury layoff. He started the year playing at American Challenger Tour events. After a loss in Newport Beach, he gained momentum, winning his sixth ATP Challenger career title in Dallas. Nishikori then participated in various tournaments, including the Moselle Open, Japan Open, Shanghai Masters, Vienna Open, and Paris Masters, achieving success and making his presence known. At the ATP Finals, Nishikori secured a memorable victory against Roger Federer. From Japan records a third victory over the Swiss in his career. Ending a six-match losing streak against the Swiss legend, his journey in 2018 concluded with a ranking of world number nine, highlighting his remarkable comeback to the top ranks of the sport. Nishikori he started his year 2019 at the Brisbane International, where he was seeded second. He displayed his skills by defeating several notable opponents, ultimately clinching the title. This victory was significant as it marked his first tournament win since February 2016 and ended a streak of nine consecutive final losses. Nishikori's performances throughout the year were a mix of victories and challenges. He participated in events like Rotterdam, Dubai, Indian Wells, and Miami, encountering different outcomes in each. While he faced losses in some events, he managed to reach the semi-finals in Rotterdam. The years 2021 and 2022 were a mix of accomplishments and difficulties for Kei Nishikori, a year which comprises losses and obstacles. His resilience, talent, and commitment to the sport continued to make him a significant figure in the world of tennis. Kei Nishikori's announcement of undergoing arthroscopic surgery on his left hip in January 2022 mm, it's, it's my uh, right, uh, left hip. marked a significant development in his tennis career. Nishikori's career is one which is disturbed by injuries, this which limited the ceiling of his talents. The year 2023 came, and Nishikori expressed his strong desire to make a comeback at the 2023 Australian Open, indicating his eagerness to return to the Grand Slam stage. However, two weeks before the tournament, he revealed ongoing struggles with a foot injury and delayed his return, citing the need for additional time for recovery. In June, after nearly two years off the ATP Tour, Nishikori made his return at the Challenger 75 2023 Caribbean Open in Palmas del Mar, Puerto Rico. His comeback was met with success as he won matches against several opponents, ultimately claiming the tournament title. Notably, he became the only player to win an ATP Challenger title while being unranked, showcasing his talent and experience. Atlanta Open quarterfinals. Nishikori's return to the ATP Tour was marked by his participation in the 2023 Atlanta Open. He performed impressively, reaching the quarterfinals and securing victories, including a notable win over Junchen Jerry Shang. As Kei Nishikori continues to script his remarkable comeback story in the world of tennis, we're reminded of the power of determination and resilience. His journey is an inspiration to all transcending the boundaries of sport and echoing the indomitable human spirit. Kay's career was at times limited due to injuries, making his resurgence all the more remarkable. If you've enjoyed this update on Kei Nishikori's remarkable journey, please show your support by liking and subscribing. Stay tuned for more inspiring stories, the latest updates, and engaging content. And remember, in your own endeavors, whether in sports or in life, let Nishikori's journey be a source of motivation to overcome challenges and reach for new heights. Thank you for being a part of our community, and we look forward to sharing sharing more incredible stories with you in the future. Keep believing, keep pushing your boundaries, and keep achieving your dreams.